Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss dynamic format strings for majors in Power BI. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. Let me show you my data table first. So this is my currency table, currency name, currency format and exchange rate. Now let me show you my main table. So this is my sys table and I will calculate total sys. So unit price multiplied by order quantity. Now let me go back to report page. And on demo page, first I will create a total sales. From modeling tab, I will create new major. In new major, my major name is total sales. Sales and I will use a sumx function. Sumx, my table name, training sample 2. My column name is unit price multiply by order quantity, order quantity and bracket close. So my total sales is sum x, table name, training sample two, column name, unit price and order quantity. So now my major is ready. And now let me select my major here from here, from data model. And I will go to major tool. And in major tool in formatting option, you have to just click here on the drop down and you can see the dynamic option last option here. If you are not able to see the dynamic option, you have to go to the file option and setting in option and setting click on option. And in option preview and you can see the last option dynamic format string for majors. You have to click click OK and restart the Power BI desktop. So I will click cancel because it's already unable on my machine. Cancel. So I have already selected total sales major. And from here in formatting option, I will select a dynamic. So once you select a dynamic option, you can see two option here in the drop down major and format. So let me select a format. In the format, you have to write selected values in selected value my currency and column is currency format and close the bracket now we have to modify the major as well so here i will write multiply by selected values and from my currency table i will say exchange rate center. Now let me add a one slicer here first. I will add a one slicer and let me adjust the size of the slicer. And from my currency table, I will add a currency name. And let me do setting. It will be a single selection. So I will say single select. Now let me add a data card here. So this is my data card. Let me adjust the size and here I will select total sales major. So this is my total sales major. So now you can see I have selected Brazilian. So you can see the Brazilian currency and if I'll select a euro, you can see the European for Saudi real. This is now it is converted to Saudi real and now you select a pound. This is the pound and US dollar is by default. That's all for this video. I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.